In today's episode, you will learn how to monitor and control both at the same time using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and UB Dots IoT platform. In this project, a variable resistor or potentiometer will be used as the sensor for the demonstration purposes. When the variable resistor value exceeds a predefined value, the indicator lamp is turned on, which is a feedback system and is accomplished using the UB Dots events. In this episode, you will also learn how to control the electrical loads. These are basically 220 volts AC indicator lamps, which of course you can replace with any electrical loads. For higher loads, you can use large electromagnetic relays. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This 5 volt power supply will be used to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the 7805 voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the LED. This is a current limiting resistor. J1 is the DC female power check. This is where we connect a 12 volt adapter or battery. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU module. And make sure the power supply ground is connected with the Node MCU ground pin. The middle leg of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU module while the leftmost and rightmost legs of the variable resistor are connected with a 3.3 volt and ground. It really doesn't matter which pin you connect with the 3.3 volt and ground as the resistor has no polarity. For controlling these relays we will need drivers. The relay drivers simply consist of the 2N2222 NPN transistors, 10K resistors and diodes. As you can see, a 10K resistor is connected with a base of 2N2222 NPN transistor as it's a BJT bipolar junction transistor, a current control device. That's why we need a current limiting resistor. The emitter of the 2N2222 NPN transistor is connected with the ground while the collector is connected with one side of the relay coil while the other side of the relay coil is connected with 12 volts. This relay can be energized and de-energized using this transistor. As you can see this relay consists of 5 pins, 2 coil pins, common, normally closed and normally open. These 3 pins have no physical connection with the coil pins. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram is explained. This is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This power supply will be used to power up the Node MCU module. The orange wire is the 5 volts wire and is connected with the VN pin of the Node MCU module. The grey wire is the ground wire and is connected with the ground pin of the Node MCU module. This is the variable resistor. The white wire is connected with the 3.3 volts. The gray wire is connected with the ground while the yellow wire is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU module. This is the three channel relay module as explained. The black wire is the ground wire which is of course connected with the ground pin of the Node MCU module. The relay control wires are connected with D0, D1 and D2. But I'll be using only two of these relays connected with D0 and D1. But I will do the programming for the four relays. This is a DC female power check over here. I have connected 12 volts. These are the 220 volts indicator lamps. These indicator lamps can be replaced with regular light bulbs. 
or any other electrical load. So that's all about the interfacing. Now let's discuss the Node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download the ub.espmqtt library from the GitHub. I will provide a link in the description. After you download the library, then simply open the latest version of the Arduino IDE and aid this library. After you add the ub.esp mqtt library then also download the pops up client library and add it the same way as I did for the ub.esp mqtt library. This is the ub.s token which you can copy from your ub.s account. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Load underscore management is the name of the device that later we will be creating on the UB.IoT IoT platform. This device will have these four variables. Make sure the device name and the variables names 100% match with the device and variables that you will be creating on the UB.IoT IoT platform. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. In Node MCU module, you can use only one analog sensor. But in my upcoming tutorial, I will explain how you can use multiple analog sensors. This function is responsible for receiving the numbers from the UB.DONS IoT platform. While this function is used to perform the comparisons and control the loads. These are the numbers which are sent from the UB.DONS IoT platform when we press the switches which I will explain in a minute. The wide setup function executes only one time and consists of the basic setup instructions like for example activating the serial communication, specifying the baud rate inserting the data source or device name and variables, telling the controller which pins are the output and which pins are the input using the pin mode function. In the wide loop function, we create another device with the name monitoring. Now this device will be automatically created on the UB.DONS IoT platform the time we power up the Node MCU module. This device will be used for monitoring the sensors data. In my case, I'll be monitoring a variable resistor. Simply read the variable resistor. Store the value in variable data. V resistor is the variable name which will be available under the monitoring device. Now let's work on the ub.iot platform. Open the ub.iot platform. Click on the Devices menu and select Devices. Click on the Create Device. Click on the Blink and use the same device name as defined in the programming. Click on the create button. So now, as you can see, a new device has been created. Click on the device and define four variables which will be used to control the electrical loads. Make sure you use the same variable names as defined in the programming.
Now click on the data menu and select dashboards. Click on the add new widget and select a switch. Now repeat the same steps for the remaining three switches but with different off and on values. I just connected my Node MCU module. Now click on the device menu and select devices. As you can see a device with the name monitoring is also added automatically. This name was defined in the programming which I have already explained in the programming. This device has one variable with the name of V resistor. You can see a change in the value as I change the knob of the variable resistor. Let's display this value on a gauge. In my previous tutorials, I have already explained how gauges are added. Now let's make a feedback system. When the sensor value exceeds a value of 500, the indicator lamp is turned on. For the best understanding, you can watch my previous tutorial on how to use the events. I will provide a link in the description. As you can see when the value exceeds 500, the indicator lamp is turned on. Our UB.IoT platform is ready and now let's practically check this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.